Hey, what's up guys? It's Isaac from Pickle Nation and today we're going to be installing the Prune ETU Flex Plus. Let's get started. Okay, opening up. We got the MOSFET. Uh, the programming card. And the manual with stickers on it so you can remember the settings, which I think that's actually pretty cool. So just open up the package, you have your MOSFET, this is a Dean's connection. You can see the size difference, Prune is a lot smaller than, than the stock G&G MOSFET. To install the MOSFET is pretty easy, start by removing this wire right here plugged into the old MOSFET. And you can just yank it out just like that you have it unplugged from there now slide down to these two areas you have a red cord and a black cord same with the new MOSFET you're just going to plug in these ones and then detach the one from the old MOSFET these are a little tough so I do recommend using pliers There we go. And then you're gonna have to take off this zip tie. And now you have taken off your old MOSFET and you're ready to install the Perun. Simply plug in the red wire to the red cable on the Air P9. Same with the black one. Take the top wire and plug it in here. There you go. You have successfully installed your Prune MOSFET. Test it, make sure it's working. You should hear a beep when you plug a battery in. Just like that. To make sure the gun is working, just dry fire it a few times. Okay. Now we are ready to go into programming mode. So how you do that, start on semi, then you're gonna go from full auto, semi, full auto, semi, twice. And it's gonna start beeping. So right now is beeping one, so that means it's on semi. We're gonna leave it on that to go into the next mode. Just turn it. Active braking is on three. We actually don't need active braking on, so I'm just going to scroll through that real quick. So now it's on the fourth setting, fifth setting, and off. Now we're going to scroll through the next one. Pre caulking, that is off. Let's turn it on too. Just see how that does. Now, binary. Rate of fire reduction, don't need that. DMR mode, LiPo alarm, that is on, so we're gonna leave that on. Master reset to reset it to the stock settings, and then exit and save. So now we can test semi, that's normal. Let's put up, there's eight settings on pre caulking, so it's that, let's just turn that up a little bit more. Go back into modes, firing mode, active braking, pre caulking. Fourth one, binary, reduction. DMR mode, LiPo alarm, master reset, save. Okay, now. That is a lot faster, and let's see, you're supposed to hold down the trigger for two seconds, and it'll let go of the spring. Just like that, and there you go. So let's see, let's go back one more time. Ready to fire. Active braking. 
let's just turn off pre caulking for now. Now it's off now. Let's test out binary. Let's just go back into programming mode. Active braking, pre caulking, binary. Now it is on. Rate of fire reduction, DMR mode, lipo alarm, master reset, save. Now we're back and now binary. Okay guys, that's how you install your Perun ETU++ MOSFET into your GNG ARP9. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.